Martin, now you've had the time to look back at the game in Porto, mm -hmm. what would you say you were missing? I think uh, with the ball we didn't play our game. I think we, we lacked some intention on the ball and uh, yeah, we didn't have enough threat in our, in our game and um, yeah, then didn't create enough chances. I don't think we had a shot on goal, so it was not really our game I think we played there, so that's what we want to try and change before, before the game now. It was actually the first time in over two years that Arsenal didn't have a shot on target mm. in a match. What is the key to breaking down a low block in a game like this? I think what we've, what we've done recently, I think in all the games we played apart from that one, we've, we've done so well and uh, most of the time now when we play, we play against a team that wants to defend deep and, uh, and uh, we're quite used to that. So um, yeah, I think it's just about finding those small details and changing a few things and then, then I'm sure we'll do much better in, in this game. Did it feel like a game where, as a team, you just weren't quite at your best, that you weren't mm. yourselves? Yeah, attacking-wise, I think so. I think defensively, I think we did quite well. I think the the high press and uh, and a lot of the things we did without the ball was, was pretty good. But then again, um, with the ball, we always, when we play, we want to create chances and we want to score goals. And um, of course, that's, that's something we've looked at and how we can improve that for this game. And um, yeah, we know what we can do better and uh, we'll try to show that. Was it a match that encapsulated the fine margins in a Champions League knockout game? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think when you play in these games, you know, all the big games, if you do a little mistake, you get punished. And, uh, and uh, that was another example of that. So, um, yeah, you have to be so sharp for, for the whole game and uh, you have to be on your best always. And uh, hopefully we can, we can be that now. <laughs> you players, though, you're, you're still human. So mistakes can sometimes happen. Yeah. There can be lapses in concentration. So yeah. I guess the question really is, what's the key to minimizing those situations happening? Yeah, as you say, it's a part of football, but I think if, if we play our game and if we play uh, like we've done in the other games now recently, um, we're creating so much and we're in so many good positions and, uh, and um, yeah, then I'm sure we will get a good result. But I think we, we just have that feeling that we have that confidence that we trust each other and, and uh, when we're on the pitch, we feel safe, you know, defending, attacking, we feel, we feel good, you know, so it's just about finding our flow and, and get into that. That word has come up quite a lot recently, safe. Mm. What do you mean? I think it's just something we are feeling, you know, um, especially when we defend and, for example, me, sometimes I'm, I'm the one putting the pressure in, in, in the first line with a striker and then you always know that someone will have your back and you're not worried about what's going on behind you and it's much easier for us to, to put pressure and be aggressive and um, also sometimes you have to defend deep, you know, um, you can receive corners, free kicks, whatever and yeah, it's just a feeling, you know, that you're confident in your in your defenders and that's something we, we really feel at the moment we're so strong when we have to be in those situations as well so yeah that's a good thing. Aside from the game out in Portugal this year has been incredible for Arsenal mm. eight consecutive wins in the Premier League mm. 33 goals scored in those games as well mm -hmm. so how can you take the momentum from that into what is such an important game tomorrow? Yeah that's what we want to do um, I think as I said before we've been such a good form and we want to keep that momentum going and um, and yeah try to do a lot of what we've done recently and keep being ourselves I think that's the main thing for before this game we have to be our ourselves and play our game and uh, and yeah as I said before already um, we know what we didn't do there and we know how we can change that and that's what we're going to do. Is it all those goals that have, have been scored recently and that that good Premier League run is that rhythm is it confidence in the team is it executing game plans to perfection or kind of a combination of everything yeah I think it's it's a combination of many things but I think in in football and now especially uh, when you play on the highest level the the small details I think that's what changed the games and um, and I think we've been so good at doing those um, small things you maybe even don't see them you know when you watch us play but there's like you take a certain position or you fret a different a certain player or if you make this movement instead of that movement and you know all these things and when we all do that together and in the right way then then it's good and your role in the team is is so important obviously being captain as well but what does your manager ask of you out there every game <laughs> a lot of things <laughs> i think um yeah a lot of things but i think the good thing now is we've we've all worked with him for uh, for a long time and uh, and we know him so well and uh, we know it, what he wants from us in, in all the situations now and, uh, 
and I think you can see that on the pitch now as well, how we execute the game plans and um, how we understand the game better as well. I think, um, yeah, a lot of things he, he wants us to do, but um, of course for me, I'm attacking midfielder. I, he wants me to be decisive and he wants me to be in the right areas, to be dangerous and to come inside the box. And yeah, I, I will say that's, that's the main thing. You had so much high praise as a teenager and, and coming to Arsenal and, and over the years, everyone was expecting such big things from you, but you've had to wait mm. to reach this stage of the Champions League to get to the knockout. So yeah. what does it mean to you to be here now and to be playing in this competition at this stage? Yeah, massive. I think um, growing up, you know, watching, of course, the Premier League, but also the Champions League, you know, it was always the dream to play here. And, and now now I'm here. So, yeah, of course, it's special. and. Um, and uh, I think for the whole team, you know, to be here and to play at the biggest stage, that's where we want to be. So, um, yeah, it's another great chance to show our qualities and, uh, and to go in for even further in the cup competition. That's, that's the goal. Yeah, what would it mean to get through to the next stage? A yeah, lot of big teams already there. That's what we want, you know. Um, we want to fight for, for trophies and we want to win things. And, uh, yeah, then we have to win tomorrow. You couldn't come into this game in, in better form in the league and top of the Premier League as well so there's so much confidence and the fans are just having the best season watching you guys at the moment what role can that crowd play at the emirates tomorrow yeah big role i think what what have done for us this season and uh, yeah especially the last few games at home has been unbelievable the support and uh, i think it just gives us that extra gear and that extra fire on the pitch so again they will be so important for us and and uh, I'm sure they're going to be fired up and, and ready for the game. So, yeah, I can't wait. Can you feel it when you're out there? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, yeah, there's such a crucial part of what we're doing. And, and that's a special thing with this club now. I feel like we're all so together and that's, that's with the fans as well. And every time we play, we feel so, so supported and we feel the energy. So, yeah, it's good.